Hey guys, I just want to make this quick video to um, help people out setting up their projector properly uh, so that they get a full experience for the uh, their uh, golf simulator. I've seen so many different setups out there that are uh, just wrong and so many people have so many questions about how to set up the projector properly or which projector to select. So uh, hopefully this little guide will help you decide uh, which projector to get and also how to set it up properly. Now, the main goal is to have the image fill up the entire screen. Now, the setup that I'm going to show you essentially works with uh, SkyTrack Golf and TGC 2019. So this is the software that I'm using. But essentially, it should work with any uh, software out there. So uh, it really doesn't matter at this point which software you use. Obviously, it's based off running, running off Windows. So if you're using an iPad, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. So step number one is to find the right projector. So to determine the right projector, there are essentially two types of projectors out there. There's your uh, short throw projector and your standard throw projector. Now, in order to determine which projector is right for you, you essentially need to figure out uh, where you need to install the projector. So basically how far away from the screen you need to set it up. In order to do so, what I really recommend is you use the Projector Central's projection calculator. This will allow you to determine exactly where you need to set up your projector and uh, by doing so you'll be able to make the, uh, the right decision. Uh, to find it, simply follow the link there or go to projectors, uh, just Google Projector Central Calculator, you'll find it right away. Now, one of the main things in order to determine which projector you want is to do, uh, do the calculation based on the height of your screen, not the width, but the height. The reason I say the height is that most screens won't actually be a 69 ratio. Most of the time, you actually end up with a screen that's not as wide as your standard uh, movie screen or, or home theater screen. Uh, most of the time, you'll see 10 by, nine, uh, 10 by 8 screens, uh, so they're more along the lines of a 4-3 ratio. The ratio really doesn't matter, but what you want to do is you want to use the height to determine which projector you want. So. Uh, if you look at a standard screen, a 10 by 8 screen, I've seen a lot of people set up their projector and what they end up with is with an image that is um, fine in the middle, not squished, but you have a black bar on top of the bottom. Obviously, this is not what you want. The other thing that I've seen is people set it up so that it takes up the full height, but the image is squished. So that's basically just the setting in Windows. So I'll get to that a little bit later on. Um, what you want to do when you first set it up, believe it or not, is you want to have the image uh, take too much width on the um, uh, on the uh, on the screen, but essentially take up all the height uh, of the screen, and then we're going to narrow it down in Windows afterwards. So I'm going to give you a few examples. This is the projector that I use. It is a 4K projector, but it is not a short throw projector. So what you're going to want to do is on the calculator, you're going to leave the aspect ratio to 69. And then basically you're going to adjust the image size, as you can see here. In this case, because I have a 10 by 8 screen, so I'm going to adjust the image height to 96 inches. And if I do that, as you can see, my throw distance ends up being 22 feet away. Now, in my case, I also have with this projector, I have a zoom lens. So with the zoom lens, if you look at the bottom here, I can go telephoto or wide angle. So if I put it at 1.2, my throw, throw distance is now 20 feet, 10 inches. You can see the actual range here based on the zoom that I'm using. So obviously in my case, I set this up in a garage, so I have a lot of space behind me. So I was actually able to use that projector, no problem. But there's a lot of cases where you don't need, you don't have that full uh, distance. So what I would recommend in this case is you go to a short throw projector. With a short throw projector, this is just one example that I'm using, but I've seen a lot of people get that projector. You get uh, high lumens, very good quality, and it's HDR. So as you can see, the aspect ratio, I leave it at 69. It really doesn't matter. The image size, again, 96 inches. Uh, you can adjust it to whatever size screen you have. But you can see the throw distance now, instead of being 20 feet away, I'm now at 7 feet 1 inch. So there's a big difference in terms of the throw distance if I use a uh, projector that is a short throw. Now, I wanted to show you something. A lot of people say, yeah, but if I change it to 4.3, the aspect ratio, 
Now check it out. I just changed it to 43 here and same image size, so same height. My throws distance is the exact same. So as you can see here, all I'm doing is I'm essentially narrowing down the image. Um, so it really doesn't matter the aspect ratio. Leave it at 69 and we'll adjust the, uh, the image later on. Now once you actually are, uh, find the right projector, you're ready to set it up, the, uh, what you want to do is, again, you want to have the image take up the entire height of the screen. Forget about the width, it doesn't matter. So in my case, what I did is on the projector that I have, actually I have a pattern that I can set up. So I can actually back up, uh, I held the projector either over my head or you could put it on the floor, it doesn't matter. But you back up as far as need be so that the image takes up the entire height of the screen. It doesn't matter the width. As you can see here, the width is actually much wider than the actual screen. If I go to Windows, again, you can see that the width is way too wide. So you can see my icons on the curtains on the left and on the right. So for, at this point, it doesn't matter. Set it up, back it up as much as you can, and then that's where you need to install your projector. Once it's installed, we're going to go ahead and change the resolution so that it will fit the entire width uh, uh, or just the, the exact width of your screen. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First way is if you want to do it in Windows directly, um, you can essentially uh, do it in the, the Windows display settings. That has quite a few limitations. Uh, you're usually stuck with certain uh, limited resolutions. Uh, but if it does work for you, that's great. So basically what you do is you right click on your desktop and click display settings. Now under display resolution, you're going to change the second number, uh, as, as change it so that the second number, so you basically your height stays the same. So you want to leave it, if you're using a 1080p projector, you want to leave that at 1080. So you want to have the maximum number of pixels uh, for your height but you want the first number to become smaller, so 1920 or your width in this case. Now we're going to go back to our algebra years here and I'm going to show you the simple calculation on what you need to do to figure out what the, um, the resolution needs to be. So in this case we have a uh, 10 by 8 um, projector, or sorry, 10 by 8 screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what the width needs to be. So as you can see here, I'm going to put my, I have my 10 by 8 here, I have my width here. So I'm going to basically do some simple algebra, I'm going to move that over. So now it's 10 times 1080 divided by 8, which ends up being 1350. So basically the ideal resolution for a 10 by 8 screen, if you're using a 1080p projector, is 1350 by 1080. If you go into Windows, you can see if I look at the list of the uh, resolutions that uh, that's offered to me, that resolution does not exist. Like I said, Windows offers you certain limited choices. If it's not in there, that what you want to do is you want to set up a custom resolution. Now, uh, most of the uh, most of you guys are actually uh, using a uh, an NVIDIA card. I'm assuming, anyways. So if that's the case, uh, NVIDIA will allow you to set up custom resolutions. If you're using an Intel card, if you're using other cards, there are uh, they usually offer a way to do it as well. I'm basically going to show you how to do it with an NVIDIA card. So what you want to do is you want to go close the window that you're on now uh, and go back to your desktop. And then basically you're going to right click on your desktop and you're going to create a uh, click on uh, the NVIDIA control panel. By doing so, uh, on the left side, you're going to click on display and you're going to click on change resolution. Then you're going to click customize. So this will allow you to create exactly the resolution that you want. You're going to click on enable resolutions not exposed by the display and you're going to click create custom resolution. And this is where you're actually going to enter the resolution you want. So in this case, the horizontal pixels, I want my 1350 entered there. My vertical pixels or vertical lines, you're going to enter your 1080. Um, in terms of refresh rate, you want it as high as possible. Um, it's quite rare that you're going to have a uh, 120 hertz uh, refresh rate for a um, uh, for your projector. Try to leave it at 60. If not, try to bring it down. But again, you want that as high as possible. The way to know if it works is once you actually enter the refresh rate uh, and the resolution, click on test. If the image stays black, that means that the refresh rate is usually too high. So uh, wait a few seconds, the image will come back to what it's uh, set up now, and then you can adjust it and maybe lower it a little bit. 
Um, and then if you click on test and you get a nice image, then perfect. If the image is again too wide or too narrow, then adjust your horizontal pixels, but leave your uh, vertical lines the same. What you're going to end up with is a once again a nice screen that's going to take up the uh, the, the full um, the full uh, image. Uh, sorry, the the uh, the image is going to take up the full width and height of your screen. Now, the next last setting that you're going to need to do if you're using TGC 2019 is you also need to change the resolution in the software. Um, if you're using just SkyTrack, I just open up SkyTrack, SkyTrack software and it will automatically take up the Windows resolution. So that's not a problem. In 20, at TGC 2019, what you need to do is when you open up the game, click on settings, go to graphics and then basically go down to resolution and you're going to select the resolution that you've just entered in Windows. As you can see in my case, this is the resolution that I'm using, but keep in mind I'm using a 4K projector, so it's a different resolution. The end result, you're going to have a projector that's going to be um, and a setup that's going to be a lot more immersive. So you're going to have an image that takes up the entire height of your screen without being squished. Hope this was helpful, guys. Take care.